In this class, we will understand one of the very important aspect of a programming language, which is change in behavior of program execution. So first, the program is going to identify the main function. After identifying the main function, line by line, every line will get executed within this main function. So this is the kind of this is the kind of understanding we had in the starting of the course. In the selection statements, some lines of the code will not get executed and some lines of the code will get executed. We are leaving certain pieces of program uh, without executing it uh, in that particular case and uh, some, some will get executed. So let's take this example. So here in this program, we are deciding whether the number, given number provided by the user is a positive number or not means if num is greater than 0 we are going to print it as a positive number or else this one will get executed so all you need to understand is in some cases for example if you give the number as 5 now in this case it happens to be true so this part will get executed and the else part will not get executed means even though the program is getting executed in a sequential way but some parts are not getting executed some some lines of code are not getting executed so this is where the concept of intelligence came into the programming language where uh, our programs are going to make a decision make a decision from the choices that are available the other concept is loops now what happens here is some lines of code are getting executed multiple times more than one time based upon the requirement so again every line will get executed sequentially but some lines of code will get executed more than one time so that is where the concept of loops came into existence right now here in this example what i am taking a very simple example i have taken the value of i and the value of i is going to start from zero and it is going to end till 10. Now, every time we are going to print the value of i. Now, this line of code will get executed more than once. All you need to understand is the way the change in the behavior of program execution. 